Grab a bush, throw in some pepper, and let's eat. It's time to talk about Albania. Are you ready? Let's, let's do, do this. this. Albania, Albania, Albania. This is how you do staging. In the past, Albania has come and the staging hasn't worked. This really works. It felt like Eugent and his band were performing another gig. They are seasoned performers. Eugent performs to the person in the front row. He performs for the person in the back row. And he's performing for all of you at home. This was really classy. I think the genre of rock works very well in a simple setting. And this setting was simple, but they made the most of it. I love when there are red lights. You see them in their black outfits against the red lights. It's very Albanian. Again, proving how organic this is. I love that all of the black outfits are, outfits are slightly <laughs> different. Eugen in a very fine looking suit. The drummer in a black studded tank top. The guitarist in a cut off shirt with black leather pants. And these two, are, was it two backing vocals? Two Three. female yeah, backing vocals. Yeah, in sparkling black dresses. He sounded great. He was looking into the camera. This gives me more confidence they could make the final. This blew out of the water the first two acts. Like, I don't remember the first two acts. I remember Eugent now. Sounded great. I'm, I'm just really, really pleased with this. Yeah, well, it was the first act of the day to get a round of applause in the press centre. Granted, we're only three acts in, but still, it says something um, that Albania is getting a bigger clap than Azerbaijan. Um, but yeah, it's very much a rock concert performance. Like it could be a set in Glastonbury or something like that. If you're looking for like flashy LEDs and props, you're not going to get it here. Yeah. Like it could easily have been just copied and pasted from the Festival of Kenga's stage. Obviously there are differences. He's wearing different suits and um, outfits, but the song itself, like it's retained all its charm and his vocals are fine. There weren't any major issues, I don't think. Some people were saying that he was singing slightly out of time. My ears aren't that well adjusted to notice those kind of things. Um, but yeah, it was a competent performance. Yeah, he was probably just adjusting to the big stage for that slight moment when it was out of time. Yeah, or he had a problem with his in-ears. It was only the very first yeah. run-through as well, and then it was fine after that. I mean, he is a consummate professional. Every he, he just looks the part on stage, and that's the main thing. He connects with the camera. He's like your friend. Like, you want to will him on and to do well. Yeah. Um, no, I thought that was very good. It's a little simple, but I don't think... They didn't need a massive stage performance. They didn't need all this and that, because that would have kind of taken away from it. It's a very lovely message to the song at the end of yeah. the day. And he really sells that. I preferred what they were wearing at Festivali Congress because I don't think there is that kind of like grungier look with like the studs and stuff. And I'm like, that's not necessarily what I want from this song. I liked the white uh, Festivali Congress, but this looks really good. And at the end of the day, he looks great on stage and on camera. He is going to do hopefully really well. It has pushed it further towards qualifying. I still think that it might just be a little bit too much, but juries, I think, will really appreciate this. You can be studded and you can be soft. Ah. You can be dirty and you can be sweet. And he is proving that. He looks like a rocker. I love the new look. I think it's more high impact. It's more contemporary. I think they wanted to pull this in a 2018, because mm. Festival Kungis, they have different limitations there, and maybe it didn't feel dated per se, but it felt older. This feels very contemporary. This yeah. feels very modern. I just I just think they've hit the nail on the head. They've got the tonality right. I, I'm so confident. And poor Ari all of a sudden. I just feel bad for Iceland oh, now. Because this makes you completely forget Iceland. Yeah. And Albania will benefit from the clean cut Iceland, a little white, pale, and beige. Do you know what I mean? To this explosion of color, edgy, rocky. You will remember this. You know what? I'm going to lay my cards on the table, y'all. This is going to the final. Yeah. I'm laying my cards on the table. I think it's a bit early yet to say that. We have to see, uh, we have a lot more acts to see today. But I'm definitely more confident about it now than when the revamp came out a few yes. weeks ago. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely, this has made the revamp come up to life for me now. I think that everything put together, it actually does work and it, I, it, I'm less worried about it. So I think, I think I've, it's up there with Azerbaijan. I probably prefer it a little bit more to Azerbaijan at the moment, but we know that they're gonna up their game. So I think it's all to play for, but they have definitely put themselves in contention. Well, that's what we think of Albania, Eugent Bush Peppa, the song Mall. Keep following our rehearsal footage. We got more videos coming in a few minutes. Make sure to subscribe and hit that like button. See you later. Bye. Bye.